Hello again, everybody. Um, I hope you're having a great week. This week for us is actually spring break. And um, I'm, <laughs> it is Thursday, maybe Friday. Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Anyway, um, I have not had a video planned for this week. And we've had um, my nieces and nephews here for the past few days. Then my best friend came and they've stayed for the past few days. We've got family coming tomorrow. We have Easter coming up. We have my daughter's birthday coming up. And it has been chaos in the best way. I did not intend for my YouTube channel to turn into a thrifting channel, but it has consumed my life with my business and just with pleasure and all the things. You're getting another thrifting video. I apologize in advance. There's a different video you want to see. Let me know because there are definitely some weeks where I'm inspired and I have great ideas and I'm excited to produce videos for you guys and for myself. But then there's other weeks that I said, oh, I just committed to putting a video up once a week. What am I going to do? So it is what it is. I love thrifting content. I hope you do too. And this one, I don't know if you can see this tub but it's a pretty good one. Um, this one has been from the past week or two. My mom, about a week ago, um, asked me to come thrifting with her. She loves to thrift. That's where I got my thrifting bug from. And so I met her in Macon and we went to three different thrift stores together. So most of this is from that, but I also went to Goodwill one other time um, while my kid was in a dance class. We have a Goodwill just like two doors down from our dance studio. So it's from, this is from four different trips. So let's get into it. All right, first off, this vintage Dooney and Burke bag. I love it. Oh, it still has a tag on it. Did pay $14.99 for it. If you're ish, my age, mid thirties. Um, this is what all like in high school, like if you had money or you could figure out a way to get your hands on this Dooney and Burke bag, the green and the brown, like this was the bag to have. I was not a rich girl. I did not have this bag, but I saw it $14.99. I have not decided if I want to keep it or to sell it. So I might hold on to it for a little while and then see if anybody else wants to buy it but there's a lot of like higher price things in here so I spent too much this time next up is this corset it ties in the back it is Victoria's Secret um I got it for $4.24 I bought it so I do sell y'all know I sell a lot of stuff on Poshmark but when I thrift I still prefer to thrift in my size so that I can wear it, try it on, and then decide if I want to keep it or sell it. That's not often the case. Sometimes I find things that are great deals and not my size, and I still pick those up too, just to sell on Poshmark. But this is potentially my size, and I thought it would be so cute with like a maxi skirt or something like that. So I haven't tried it on yet, but I am gonna try this on before I sell it. And actually, I did, there was two of them. I did already sell one on Poshmark. So here's the second one. We'll see if it works for me. Next. Guys, if you don't know this about me, if it's crazy or random, I'll buy it because I am that person. If I see something unique and interesting and different and I don't pick it up, I am that person. I will go home and think about it and dream about it and wish upon a shooting star. Um, I did wash it. It was um, $6.24, I think was the price, but it is a Momo. I guess that's what you would call it, but it was so pretty. Look at that orange butterfly. The brand is Raymond Fashion Inc. New York. So it's like a little vintage, little butterfly Moo Moo. Look at these little pockets right here. Um, long, just cute. I thought it would be fun to like wear belted in the summertime. I just thought it was so fun. I could not let it stay for like six bucks at a thrift store. It had to be mine. Am I crazy? Have I lost it? I don't know, but it was fun. I love a good vintage tag. It sold me. You know, sometimes you get on a roll in the thrift store and like then next thing you know, you're buying too much. This is one of those dresses. I don't know why it brought back some like deep nostalgia. I'm trying to button it to show you so you can kind of get a better feel for it. It's a Ralph Lauren dress. 
with this like ruffle long dress there's actually like a little rope tie kind of nautical ish cleaning is this size large it looks tiny though um but this brought back some like weird like nostalgia pang in my body that had me like grasping for it not sure why um it was also like six to seven dollars it just wound up in my cart i'm not sure <laughs> I think that's gonna be one of those things like, am I the only person who likes that? I don't know. Next, this was a great find. Levi Sherpa lined jacket. And it's not like a bomber, like the shorter, it's longer, almost like a chore coat. Somebody's tissue. I just scratch all out with that one. <laughs> but it's like a longer Sherpa lined jacket. I did already wash this. I guess I washed the tissue too. But I just thought it was so cute. Keep or sell, I don't know. But again, I love thrifting in my size so I can like enjoy the clothes but then pass them on when I'm ready. Granted, it is now 80 something degrees in Georgia so I don't know if I'll get a chance to wear this. We'll see what I do with it. I don't know about your thrift stores. Mine have started to go up. And not just like go up on, yes, go up on everything but start nitpicking like you can't, if you find a good item, they found it first and they put $20 on it kind of thing, which is frustrating. This is another random, it was $2.99. I don't know if it was mismarked or what. So I just picked it up. It's a Timberland puffer coat. You see that? Um, it's actually kids, but it's, it says size kids large, 16 to 18, but it is huge. Like, I mean, it fits. I mean, I'm, it'd fit somebody a little bit smaller, but I thought for $2.99, like, I mean, even if I want to turn around and sell this for $15, I think I could and it would be worth it. So I had to pick that up. It's very thick. It's got like quilting on the inside, puffer on the outside, $2.99, like it just, it had to come home with me. Pausing for dramatic effect. This is the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. I might have to stand up to show you. And this is the most expensive item. So I paid $25 for this, which I don't like to pay that much money for thrifted items. There's no tag. I think it's homemade. I, I mean, it has to be vintage, but look at this collar, $25. Um, look at these sleeves. I could do without the bird, but let me back up. Can you see this utter gorgeousness? Like it is not my size. Um, my guess is it would be more like a size small kind of range. It is done really well, but there are no tags. So I'm pretty sure it's homemade fabric. Like, oh my God. So I'm gonna have to sell this, but whoever gets it, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, oh, and I literally went straight for it. And then when I saw that it was only $25, I was like, um, ma'am, can I take this off the mannequin, please? That's, that, that's mine. Let me show you this one. Some Todd boots. Aren't those beautiful? They're like a um, maroon patent leather. These boots sell retail for like $750. Um, they are my size, eight and a half. I'm like a eight to eight and a half. Um, so I might have to hold on to them for a minute, but also like with my life, living on a farm, working on a church, homeschooling and chasing around four kids. Like, when am I going to wear these? But also, oh my gosh, like these with some like, like a leather jacket, so good, so good. Had to pick them up. They were $15. This vintage dress, they had some good vintage. This is Jennifer Logan, size large. I have not tried it on, but I might have to. It is also a long dress. Just buttons up in the front and then kind of flares out with pockets. I love the pattern. It's very like Laura Ashley kind of vibes to me, but I just thought it was adorable. I love the color. I love the pattern. It looks like a little 90s teacher 
you know, that kind of Miss Honey kind of vibe. So had to pick that up. That one was like $7. This fun thing right here, Bestique. Never heard of the brand, but I love checkers. I know checkered pattern is probably going out. Tie-dye and checkered pattern. And actually a little bit of leopard. Those have been like my patterns for all of time. And honestly, I'm one of those people where when they come in style, I get really angry because I feel like people are taking my style. And then I get very happy when it goes away because then I feel like I can wear it in peace again. Do y'all ever feel that way? I'm crazy, I know. But I saw this, loved it. Just a great little sweater. $6.24 is what I paid for it. Thought it was super cute. This gorgeous find, I've already washed it, but it was $5.24. It's um, Oscar de la Renta pink label. Silk pink robe. Look at these sleeves. Hold on, let me find one. Isn't that beautiful? Delicate. Now there are some, like if you look at the fabric, I don't know if you can tell, there's like right there, there's some places where like the fabric is kind of pulled a little bit, but these like, oh. again, I'm not a robe person, so I'll probably have to sell this, but for $5, like it couldn't stay at the thrift store. It just had to be mine so I could like look at it. I'm gonna wear it around. You know, I'm gonna get a, like one of those cigarette holders. I don't smoke, but just like the long curly deal. I don't know. I think of my characters when I look at clothes, but those, these are Madewell. Madewell doesn't sell for me. These are seven and a half, so they're not quite my size. They're probably a little too small, but these were $2, little Madewell sandals. They're a little bit used. You can tell by the leather, but again, like they're usually more comfortable this way. Um, so for $2, I had to pick them up, figured I could sell them for 15 or 20 good little summer sandals. So look at this little vintage nightgown, little white. Um, this always reminds me of that like Mexican embroidery, um, cute little vintage nightgown with doo, a house coat to go on top. It buttons all the way down. It has pockets. Oh my God. I wish I was a cute pajama wearer. Like, could you imagine me walking around with that pink robe or this house coat teaching my kids what's 11 times four children? This, I hate. But also, every time I've ever picked up this brand, it's Jude Colony. So these dresses, I guess, retail for hundreds of dollars, like two, $300. Um, and I find them at a thrift store every once in a while. Every time I've ever picked one up, they sell for a pretty good amount of money really fast. Cute little Rick Rack sleeves. I mean, it's adorable. This reminds me of like my mom. Um, there's no hate on this dress. It's not my style, um, but it's beautiful. It's thick, luxurious. I love the like bright blue color. Um, not quite cobalt, just a little bit darker than that, but I thought it was cute little dress. Somebody who is a little more professional, a little more put together than me would love it. So this definitely is a sell. Um, and I paid $7.24 for it. Y'all, this was pretty good. As I'm going through this, I'm like, do y'all love, I just, I love it. I love thrifting. These are mother jeans, which sell for like two, $300. Um, they're super cute. They got like a little raw hem. But what I love the most is this little detail in the back. That cosmic right there, isn't that so cute? Mother jeans are amazing. They're such good jeans. These are, so I think, these are size eight, which I'm a 10, but in the summer I slim down, in the winter I snurk up. So, and they're stretchy. So I might have to save these for my summer butt. <laughs> but anyway, I thought they were so cute. They were um, seven something like seven twenty four. So had to pick those up. Super cute. This dress is another one I actually love. This is Matilda Jane. I love dressing my youngest in it. Like it's like a little hippie farm girl. That's how I picture Matilda Jane for like my children. Once they get older, they're out of it. But when they're little babies and they're in these like little hippie farm dresses, ah, I love it. I know they also make women's. And so here's a woman's dress. Um, 
I could get into this. Like it's not exactly my style, but I could I could get into that. But I just thought it was so pretty. I checked the comps, they sell really well. Um, $7.24. I think everything is $7.24. But I just thought it was cute. Had to pick it up. Um, it's size small, so it's not gonna fit me, so I will definitely have to sell it. But I thought it was adorable. We're getting close to the end. Um, next is this is um Billionaire Boys Club. That is um, Pharrell, I believe, right? Pharrell. Anyway, his t-shirt sell for like $65 on his website. Um, retails or resells for honestly almost that much, like $40, $50. So I thought it was cute. I knew it could be a good flip, but also I kind of liked it. I mean, so we'll see what happens with that. Another pair of shoes, some Nike. I can't remember the type, but cute little Nike shoes. Um, there are two. <laughs> um, they are my size, but I don't wear, like, I, like, as far as, like, proper tennis shoes, I have, like, one pair that I wear. Um, I wear a lot of Vans, a lot of Chucks, a lot of platforms, but, um, when I work out, I usually work, work out in my Chucks or barefoot, honestly. I know that's probably not good, but, um, and then, you know, when I dance, like, I have my one pair of shoes, so I'll probably try to sell these, even though they are my size, just because I don't know that I'll get the most wear out of them. But they're, like, brand new. Um, I paid $18 for these. I was so excited when I found these guys. FUBU. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you'll have to tell me. They say size 18, but they're men's. Is that like boy size? Like, I'm not sure what size 18 means, but I have to look at that, but look at that. Boo, boo, you got the F on the, you got the little hammer thing. They're just so cute. They're 14 inches across. So, I mean, that would fit a size four, six girls is what I picture. I just thought it would be so cute. Um, on that same vein, there was another pair right beside them. These are Fat Farm. Do you remember those? Oh my gosh. Like, I think the, the nostalgia is 18 also, so I'm guessing whoever dropped them both off. But same thing, big, baggy, old school, early 2000s vibe. And I just think, I know these are for boys or men, but a lady out there who's a little tinier, a lot tinier than me, wants to wear these like slouchy, low-waisted. <gasps> oh, that would be cute. So cute. Again, similar vein, but these are girls. True religion. Tell me you were true religion growing up. Look at those pockets. We would die for these pockets. These are my high school in a nutshell. Wide leg. Oh yeah, you know, when it rains and it just starts getting wet, higher and higher and higher up your leg, these are those jeans. Oh my gosh, if you were somebody, you wore these jeans in high school. Tell me you get it. Tell me you know. Anyway, all three of those jeans were $8.24, which jeans in the past were not that much at Goodwill, at least at my Goodwill, so they have just raised their price and I'm not happy about it. Anyway, two more items. This one, I don't love it. I paid $7.24. I don't know why. I know why. I'll tell you why. New with tags. Dress. It's Catherine Malandrino. Am I saying that right? But the reason I bought it, it's new with tags. It retails $345. Not sure what it will resell for, but it's cute. Um, it's nothing that I would normally pick up. I try... I know I got that Jude Connolly dress, but I try to pick up my style. Like, I want when you go on my Poshmark to get, like, my vibe. So, I still try to pick up my style unless there are some things that's, like, the Jude Connolly. They sell so good. Lily Pulitzer. 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 Lily P. They sell really good. That's not my vibe. But, you know, I will pick that up. So, anyway, retails for $400. I figured I'd give it a try. Paid seven. Meh. Meh. All right, last thing. I did not save the best for last, but this is good. This is a um, Fabletics. This is a Fabletics set. So this bra, there's like a little, I know you can't tell, but there's like a little peekaboo right there in the bra. It's like a dark blue, like velvet 
cross back bra with the matching leggings. And that's so pretty. It's like a deep blue. I know it's hard to tell. Um, I paid $11.24, so I paid a lot of money for this too, but it is a set. The only thing I have noticed since bringing it home, this is one thing I'm, I'm really bad. I have bought so many things and then come home and found holes or missing buttons or I have like this, like a bucket this size full of stuff that I just can't sell that I need to fix because I wasn't paying attention. But this, my problem is, this is a size extra large. This is a size medium. I hate selling. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell them separately or together, probably separately because, I mean, obviously there's people out there that need an extra large and a medium, but most people, you know, I get large and large. So not the most ideal, I wish I would have noticed, but I probably still would have picked it up because these resell pretty well and they're super cute. So that was my thrift haul from the past week or two. I hope you've had a great spring break. I hope where you live, it feels like spring. I hope you're coming alive, feeling joy in your heart and just waking up ready to go, to love, to move, to just spread love and kindness wherever you go. Hope you enjoyed the thrift haul. I promise to bring you a variety of content going forward. And again, if you have ideas about what you want to see, every once in a while I get a few comments about homeschool stuff or um, I, I get thr thrifting, like, you know, like thrifting advice questions or things like that. So if there's anything specific that um, you would love to see, let me know. And maybe I can make that happen for you. Hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.